Hey everyone, Zoraz here from Not Casuals, and today we have another gameplay guide for Cyberpunk 2077 for you guys. Now, in this video, I will be going over the attribute points and the perk points. As you can see on the left here, these are basically your character's speciality and customization for your skills and abilities. Now, the difference between attribute and perk is pretty substantial you have a choice of five different attributes body reflexes technical ability cool and intelligence and in each of these attributes as you can see they are perks now some of them have two perks some of them have three perks so when you level up you can see i'm level six right now every time you level up you will gain an attribute point you can then spend it in one of these five and as you can see here on the right side it says i'm level eight out of 20 which means you can only put 20 points into one attribute at a time now you will be able to max out probably two of these out of the five or you can split around whichever way you like there will be no malices for not putting points somewhere you will basically get complete control on how to play your character if you go full reflex and full body it doesn't mean that you're going to be unable to hack or stealth it is completely up to you to play the way you like now it is also important to know that you can respect these points using an item that you can purchase later on in the game so even if you do some messing up it is not a big deal because you can recoup these losses later on now the first thing that is really good to notice is that whenever you are hovering one of these attributes it says on the right side what they do so as a brief overview reflexes are for evasion crit chance and mantis blade and unlocks the perks that are related to weapons such as blade handguns and assault so this is going to be your combat and weapon attribute and perks now technical ability has to do with crafting so you can craft very very strong equipment and weapons in this game and this will give you bonuses as well as engineering which has to do with tech gear and tech weapons who have very special abilities such as homing bullets and a lot of really cool stuff so if you want to do cool stuff like that this is where you're gonna go cool is basically stealth and cold blood which also kind of has to do with killing and stealth so this is what gives you boost to crit damage resistance stealth damage and reduces your getting detected when you're stealth intelligence it determines your net running proficiency so net running is hacking or getting hacked so you can have perks in here that will prevent you from getting hacked as well as getting perks that will make your hacking and your ram higher so that you can do more hacking during combat and regen some of the points is basically what this is now lastly body is basically your hp your stamina the damage you do with your fist and some stuff like gorilla arms and melee weapons you also get a lot of perks here for athletics and inhalation and street brawlers so this have to do with combat and surviving and healing and as well as melee fist fighting so this is obviously a very important one as well now one thing that you have to know about all of these attributes is that also during the story as well as during your free exploration some of them will unlock different dialogue options that will either let you skip part of the story or get higher rewards or get better benefits from the quest in question so for example when you're talking to a hacker if you have high intelligence you could have some extra stuff that will let you understand them or call their bs and get not screwed over for example you also have stuff like technical ability and body that will allow you to break open doors which will let you get into special areas of a building and in those areas you will get more bonuses more loot even more quest stuff that you would not have had access if you had not leveled up these before so all of these have different options in your gameplay and will influence some of what you are able to do and what you will be getting as rewards now if we go into one of the attributes for example you will see that they all have a skill progression reward which basically will give you a lot of bonuses such as extra damage reduce reload time perk points that you gain for free and so on you can also see that my skill progression in assault for example is at two which is why i have the number two here unlocked now if you go into handgun which i have at three and and then i have another one here that gives me a perk point now the way this works is by using it you can see that i'm at 42 percent xp in the handguns because i have been using handguns a lot in my gameplay now the more you use it the more you level up and the more you'll unlock these extra stuff that will give you a lot of free 
extra bonuses which is obviously very important but also related to this specific perk now it is something that will be very good in order to unlock if you play with a little bit of everything as you see you'll level up in a little bit of everything i have never used blade so i'm at zero right now and i have absolutely no perks here so something that is recommended here is basically try and use a little bit of everything in order to get some of these free perks and these free bonuses by simply using it. Now one thing that is good to note about this skill progression reward is that it will never go higher than the related attributes point. So right now I'm at 8 in reflexes so this can go up to 8 the more I use assault rifles which is great. Now if for example I go into cool where I have only 3 points you'll see that I am at 2 which is fine but if I got to 3 I couldn't get further down the line without getting more points in this related attribute. So this is something to note in mind. You will obviously not be able to get every single bonuses here unless you make a full generalist build, which you can if you'd like. But this is something to keep in mind when you're building your character. Another thing that I want to highlight here about the cool talent, of course, if you use stealth abilities and you kill with stealth, you will level up this progression. Now for the cold blood one, you will never be able to level it up until you have put one perk point in this tree so for example if i just spend my one perk point like i just did now after getting a defeated enemy i will gain a cold blood for 10 seconds which increases my movement speed now it's pretty bad at level one but it is something that now every time i kill an enemy i'm gonna get cold blood and by having that buff on me and playing with it i will then finally start unlocking some of these cold blood points and as you can see here i, I get increased crit chance increased armor get more perk points so the bonuses in cold blood are very very amazing of course if you don't level up your cool at all it doesn't really matter but at level two or three which is kind of like the basic anyways you want to have at least a chance of unlocking these so i recommend you put at least one point here to unlock this path so of course the way you spend your attributes is going to be completely up to you you will be building your character the way you like you want to do a melee annihilation brawler kind of guy who just punches stuff and kills stuff and explodes stuff go right here in the body if you want to make someone specialize in handguns or blades or assault you can go all in the reflexes you want to be a hacker that's stealth you can do cool and intelligence you want to have really cool gear and really cool tech weapons and explosives craft your gear go in technical ability it is all going to up to you you can do many of them you can specialize in only two of them yet it's completely up to you to do whatever you like it is a good idea to go around and look at what some of these are there are some of them that are much better than others now one thing that is good to note is that you will be able to unlock all of these without spending any points by simply playing and leveling it up uh, as you can see it requires for example level 14 of the related attribute to unlock this one here which is obviously pretty easy to do if you have 14 points in this attribute later on in the game now the one at the bottom here is the only unique one and it is the same for every one of them no matter which one you're in this one will require you to have spent 20 points in this perk specifically to unlock this perk so this is obviously the elite perk of the tree and this is the one that will give you the most bonuses so as you can see i can basically put as many points in this one as i want so if you want to make a one super specialized build and go in here i would gain two percent of crit damage the same as the ability that gives 60 percent i would gain two percent more every time i put an extra point in here so all of these you'll basically be able to specialize in if you really want to so that's about it for my guide guys of course attributes as i said you gain by leveling up perk points you gain by using the special perk that goes with it so when you craft you'll gain perk points here when you use handguns and assault guns you'll use perk points here when you use your body to do street brawling athletics and stuff you'll gain perk points here it will all have to do with how you play your game now make sure to check our other video where we cover some of the best perks to get early game that will give you some of the best bonuses for example here you have one that allows you to craft rare items and one that gives you more components when disassembling so if you get these kind of perks really early into the game it will allow you to get more benefits long term so we're going to have a quick video showcasing some of the best and most useful perk as well as many more guides coming up on cyberpunk 2077 and our daily live streams so make sure to tune in and come check it out thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video